Well, quite a difference. Nice dry weather now, but boy, what a deluge we had over the past 24 hours. Some of our rainfall totals extremely uh, impressive, surprising in some areas and, and just what's been normal for this summer, which is uh, very much above average in some other areas. Look at some of our KDK Weather Watcher rainfall amounts. Ed Malecki and Natrona Heights reporting 2.83 inches of rain. Fred Sandusky and Connellsville almost an inch and a half. Same for Kathleen Lopresti and Claire. Antonio Leo in North Huntington, almost three inches of rain. These are our 24 hour totals. Bradley Tackett in Uniontown. We were talking to him yesterday at uh, Summer Blast at Kennywood for KDKA. Uh, he has a great uh, weather station and a rain gauge there. Look at this 3.88 inches of rain. And John Mahalchik in Heidelberg, almost the same. So uh, amazing totals. Take a look at our weather bug network and we'll show you some other numbers. These are our weather bug rain gauges that are reporting uh, totals. One 1.21 inches of rain for Shawleroy over the past 24 hours. York School District in Hermity 1.4. North Huntington, the Norwin Middle School 1.57 inches of rain. And of course, as I mentioned at the top of the show, Waynesburg, it's rain day, and they got several inches of rain yesterday and more than an inch since midnight. So definitely raining on rain day. Thankfully, it's all over with now. We still have a few flood advisories in effect. These are not flash flood advisories. They're more aerial coverage just for high water and uh, high uh, streams, creeks, rivers. So the flood advisory goes for portions of Washington County through 830 this evening, portions of Green and Fayette counties until 830 as well. Also for Morgantown, areas of Preston, Tucker, Monongalia County still watching for flood advisories down there. All of the rain slowly pushed down to the southwest, which is kind of an unusual pattern. We're used to our weather coming at us from the west, right? Well, this activity on a closed low, everything was sort of pinwheeling and spiraling and slowly pulling down to the southwest and then pulling into the Virginia area as we headed through the last 12 hours. So finally, it's pushed off to the east. Much drier weather on the way, really, for the next couple of days. Look at the numbers for so far. This this is for July 6.42 inches of rain. This is at Pittsburgh International. That's almost three inches above average just for the month of July. For the year, we're more than six inches or almost six inches above average for the year for precipitation so far. And keep in mind, our winter was below average snowfall. So hour by hour tonight, clear. Cooler. Look at the lows. 56 by tomorrow morning. Future cast showing nice, clear skies. Dry weather tonight. Through the day tomorrow, we're looking at beautiful weather. This model tries to bring in a sprinkle in the laurels and ridges tomorrow. Not confident that will happen at all. We're looking at nice, dry weather all the way through Thursday. So clear and cool tonight. 56 your overnight low. Tomorrow, sunny, warmer. 81. Very seasonable for late July. And here's the seven day forecast. Notice the sunshine. Beautiful sun Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, lower to mid 80s. We finally get a chance of a thunderstorm moving back in here Thursday night to Friday. Paul.